Hi everyone, so I'm back to share um, a few little projects with you. Uh, I've made a journal and I've made two altered paper bags with blank journals and ephemera. Um, I've used uh, Artie Maisie's uh, A Winter's Tale. This is also a design um, project for us. So this is the time of year where this kit needs to be brought out. <laughs> um, I have seen today that some places in America have had some snow. So definitely, you know, this journal is suitable for this time of year. So anyway, I'm going to show you the journal first and then I will show you these two altered paper bags. So the journal, um, it measures, sorry, I've got my notes to the side of me. Right. So the journal measures eight and a quarter by five. It has one signature. There's 64 pages front and back. And all of these will be listed in my shop if you're interested. Um, so the spine has some of this lovely lace on it. I did actually ink the spine up because I'd done it um, like obviously the three layers of cardstock. Then I put some of the paper from the kit on there um, and then I inked it up and then I thought, no, I'm going to add some lace to it. So that's the lace on there. It's all been stitched. Uh, the images from the kit, everything is like from the kit in here. There is a few things from the old design shop and possibly Tsunami Rose. So I've used a book page and then I used my four memo to um, write out the word well, Winter's Tale. Um, and this is Create Your Own Magic. Uh, there's eyelets, a string as a closure. And I probably caught this up in the... No, I haven't. How clever am I? <laughs> um, we've got lots of this fluffy, like a dark blue um, eyelash trim as well. I think that complements it. So... <clears throat> The journal, I do believe this is just a normal size journal kit, but uh, again, I've kind of used it to make, well, just slightly bigger than a traveller's notebook size so, I, size, so I have chopped it down a little bit. So this is one of the pages from the kit. <clears throat> um, here it's very blue. I was finding it, you know, I do like blue, but I did find that there was a lot of blue. So I did add some like vintagey looking stuff just to break it up a little bit. So this is actually, well, this isn't a freebie, but this background here is a freebie. Um, you can find that on Artie Maisie's Facebook group or her website. It did have an image of a bird, but then I used these circle embellishments from the kit and I've made that a tuck. These tags <clears throat> are also a freebie and the words are not on the tags, but she, uh, Artie Maisie, Andrea, has got um, another freebie on her uh, website or Facebook group and it's all kind of winter words and poems and sayings and th things so I use that one if you listen carefully the silence is beautiful <clears throat> and all the um, all the pockets and things <clears throat> are made with the papers from the kit so this was one of the pages from the kit and I just kind of shrunk it down a little bit and made a couple of tags with that it's got some blue um, lace trim on there some stenciling on there as well uh this is another freebie tag <clears throat> excuse me this is from the old design shop so that just kind of breaks that up for my liking vintage book page this is the old design shop here is one of the pockets from the kit with the lovely stags on there love them and a tag here and a journal card it's been backed onto some index cards Uh, some crocheted trim, <clears throat> a postcard from the kit has been coffee dyed and then on here we've got some stenciling going on there and a, a journal, a journal, it's not a journal, it's an envelope, <laughs> a, journal, a journal card, a journal card is inside it, <laughs> um, actually it's a postcard, <clears throat> I thought I was doing okay today, like remembering stuff and like my words if you watched yesterday's video we've kind of been all over the place this week <laughs> i love the birds on that it's so pretty another page from the kit so that the lined page um here is one of the pockets from the kit <clears throat> excuse me i've got a right frog in my foot um some more sten <coughs> stenciling a little um ticket from the kit tag oops tag from the kit i love the owls they're so pretty um, this is just some ephemera. I think that's from the old design shop. Again, like I said, I was just adding things to break up the blue a little bit. Um, 
a journal card here with a white tab on there. Some more stenciling, some lined paper. Love this page. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to take a little sip of water. I've been sat in the shed for hours with the heating on. I'm not really talking to anyone, so I'm a bit rusty here. <laughs> and there we go. <clears throat> Hopefully that will help. Um, a, a corner tuck I made from one of the pages. Another um, ticket from the kit. Uh, this little uh, journal card. It's been backed onto uh, an index card. This again is from the old design shop. And then this lovely tag from the kit. And it's kind of, this has got like blue and black in it. So I thought that goes well because obviously we've got the tones of blue and the white. And obviously um, the some of the animals in here are dark black. Uh, this was a freebie tag which I just added. This image, this was a, a smaller tag from the kit and I just chopped the top off. I added the Wonder of Winter. Excuse me, now the, now the water's giving me the burps. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if all that stenciling is getting picked up. <clears throat> so, more stenciling there. Another page from the kit. Here I just made a double pocket using one of the pages from the kit um, to, do, to create the double tuck. And one of the journal cards, a little bit of... Um, lace for, uh, trim there another tag with that eyelash trim on there and that goes in there we have this from the kit look at that little house all topped with snow another journal card <clears throat> with a white tab on there and then this is uh, some ephemera from Tsunami Rose just goes in there. Some more stenciling. Centre of signature. Another pocket that I created using one of the journal cards and then some of one of the pages from the kit. Another lovely tag there. Some more stenciling. <clears throat> Excuse me, I do apologise. Another um, pocket from the kit. Another little journal card with uh, onto some index card that's just been backed onto coffee dyed paper again look at that lovely them lovely little houses church in the background so nice and then this is just a little fold out <clears throat> you can do some extra journaling with and it all pops in the owl pocket <laughs> there we go this is a little flip out. <clears throat> um, this actually is a pocket for um, from the kit. Um, then I created this little pocket and then popped on the little squirrel. In there we have a tag which matches the pocket. Some stenciling in the background. And then here... We have, again, another journal card with the squirrel <clears throat> collecting his acorns, I think it looks like, his acorns. And then this is a little freebie tag. So like I said, the freebie tags are either on Andrea's uh, website, which is artymaze.com, or her Facebook group, which is Artymaze and Friends. Uh, just some ephemera here from the old design shop. Uh, some stenciling there. And then these were the, again, I think these were the freebies and they come in two sizes. So um, I didn't obviously cut these apart, but I just folded it in half and inked up with the, the blue ink. And that blue ink gets everywhere. <laughs> um, we have an envelope on the other side. And inside there we have a postcard with the lovely fox on there. And that's just paper clipped on. That's the stenciling there and there. So it's that time of week again, isn't it? It's like, it's nearly Friday. It's, I think it's going really quick. Um, 
time's flying by. It's going to be Christmas. Another tag with the um, owl ticket here. Um, if they haven't been backed onto coffee dyed paper, they've been backed onto cardstock or index cards. Actually, that one's just been coffee dyed. That's from the old design shop. That's not a freebie on the old design shop. That's actually from the Etsy. Um, another ticket with that lovely house topped with snow. Then uh, three tickets that I used and there was this where I was chopping off pieces to make the journal the size it is. There was like scraps left over so I just used that, backed it onto some cardstock and then added these tickets. We've got another tag here. And we have another postcard. Then we have some ephemera from uh, Salami Rose. Another pocket from the kit and another journal card. It's on an index card, a lovely owl, a little squirrel and some ephemera from Salami Rose. The stenciling in the background. <clears throat> had terrible problems with our uh, internet lately. It's driving me crazy. I actually thought it was Facebook the other day, <clears throat> but everything's buffering and cause I'm out in my shed, I think the, the Wi-Fi is just getting absolutely ridiculous. Um, they probably want us to upgrade to like something else, but it was absolutely fine, um, you know, with my laptop and stuff like that. But now that even that's playing up, another lovely tag. That's actually not a tag, that's from one of the pages which I shrunk down and um, the tag that I showed you at the beginning is the other side. Um, so there's that one. Yeah, so my internet is so slow at the moment. <clears throat> Another, that's a little freebie tag in the background and then this was a little tag where I've just chopped it down and put the squirrel on there. And that's one of them freebies again, only I've popped the owl on there. So that pops in there. Oh, we have this. I think that's from the old design shop. It says a form of family record. Should be fun if you wanted to fill that out. And then uh, this is from the old design shop on Etsy. And that is the back. So oh, look at that. So lovely. It's such a lovely kit. So that is the journal. And like I said, that will be listed for sale. So I'm only going to show you, um, let me put that over there. There is two of these. They are identical, <clears throat> literally identical. <laughs> so the bags measure eight and a half by six. They are gusseted, as you can see. Um, there is a collection of ephemera in the front which I'll show you and the journals that are inside they measure seven and three quarters tall by five inches wide there's one signature in them and 60 pages front and back so I will show you one like I said they are identical so these are these lunch bo uh, lunch boxes they're not lunch boxes even they are the, the lunch bags the block bottom ones now uh, I do have uh, I do have tutorials on how I make these. They're on my playlist called Let's Make. If you want to go over and check that out. Um, it's like altered paper bag or something like that. So inside, <clears throat> I'm going to need a little sip of water again. It's making all that squeaky noise now. All the noise is coming everywhere tonight. Uh, so I decorated the, um, the back here. Again, using the pages from the kit then I've just put on some little white trim there's some silver bling like mesh trim and then you get these on one of the um, pages from the kit and it says the wonder of winter so I just backed that onto some cardstock so that it kind of you know de defined it round round there is that the right word defined um, and that's how simply how simply I decorated that so we have three tags that have all been backed, coffee dyed, uh, coffee dyed paper, and topped with this eyelash trim. Or, I don't know, some people call it other stuff, can't remember what, what they call it, but 
So they go, that goes in there like so. Then we have an envelope, which inside the envelope, we've got a little collection of goodies. So you have one of these journal cards, which is backed onto coffee dyed lined paper, a postcard, another postcard, and another journal card. So that's what's in the envelope. And the envelope just pops in there. Then we have a large journaling card, and I've just put that onto some white to make it pop a little bit, inked up the tabs. And then we have two more postcards, one with the hair, one with the birdies. So I'm going to put them so that they're up like that. Then we have Oopsie. Two more journal cards, which have been backed onto teal coffee dyed paper, coffee dyed probably, and got tabs on them. Then we have two more of these little journal cards. And then we have this little journal card with the hair on there. The journal is blank. I've just decorated, I've left that with the, um, what do you call it, the Distress, the Blue Distress ink. Is it Faded Jeans? I think it was I used. Went round the edges, used one of the images from the kits. And like I said, it measures um, seven and three quarters by five and 60 pages front and back. And I'll just do a very quick flip because it is a blank journal. So we have this lovely page. And the papers have been coffee dyed ready for you to make your mark on there make it yours that's some vintage music paper it's actually got some writing on there some original writing whoops don't mean to bump the camera and i've just done it again oh, dear me center of the signature lined paper little flip there the other side of that music paper Oh, it kind of makes you feel cold. <laughs> there we go, another little flip. And there we go. So, like I said, the, these are both identical. There's no point, I don't need to show the other one. Um, where did I put that journal? So, like I said, this is the DT for Artie Mays. Um, the kit is called A Winter's Tale and Artie Mays is linked below. Go over and check that kit out if you haven't already purchased it. Um, it's a great one to have, especially this time of the year. And um, these will be listed in my shop if you're interested. They'll all be listed individually as well. If you have any questions about any of these, and like I said, I have got in on my playlist for uh, Let's Make, there is... Um, videos on how I how I make them I've probably done it with another kit but the same concept is there so any questions about these just ask and thank you so much for watching bye